dad was an aerospace engineer, and uh, we lived well. We, uh, uh, we weren't lacking any material thing. We had everything but uh, loving, godly parents growing up. I remember quite a few times of being run out the door by my older sister, and she would take us all outside while dad threw mom around the house and they broke things. I'm at 16 years old to have a beer party with a couple of buddies whose parents had gone away. Um, I get off work, they've already started drinking this case of beer. I had to drink six beers real quick to catch up with them. So I think I got three or four down. And uh, the next thing I know, I hit one of the guys, thinking it was funny. And he hits me back, and I spent the rest of the night puking. And they, I remember coming to, and they're standing over me with a baseball bat. And the guy whose house it is is wondering, should he knock me out to make me quit puking? I was an alcoholic, it seemed, from the first time I drank. Because I never just sat down with the guys and had a beer or two. I needed somebody to tell me who I was. And I'm sitting in an AA meeting listening to a woman with a four-year claim. I didn't know who she was, but she was going to school. She was keeping a job. She had a decent relationship with a decent guy. And as I looked at this guy, I didn't know. I said, that's what I want. I said, but I got a girlfriend, and I don't know. I want to taper off of her, or if I should just quit her cold turkey. And he goes, I hope you lose your girlfriend. Rocked my world. I hope you lose your job, I was working. I hope you lose your car, I hope you lose your home until all you have left is your sobriety. I go to my little gas station job at a self-serve gas station and I get a phone call from my dad and I go, Dad, I'm really sorry. I start apologizing, he goes, it's not what I called for. I found your mother dead on the bed, uh, bathroom floor this morning. And it just blew me away. So God, have you given up on me? And it's been a resounding, no, I have not given up on you since, <laughs> since March of 1982. We got saved to come alive with the life of Christ and with the mind of Christ. And that is we make a commitment to bind our body, soul, and spirit and our life to the purpose of the cross. I, I can look people in the eye with my experience and I can tell them, you can tell me you won't, but you can't tell me you can't. That he who began this good work in you, that new creation, the only one that could bring forth a new creation. Jesus is the birth in Jesus. New birth in Jesus is the only way to be reborn, rebirthed, renewed, regenerated. Well, now we have life. We have life abundantly. And life, I always thought, was like this. Life is like this, even in Christ. He's with us. We mourn with those who mourn, and we rejoice with those who rejoice. And He'll take us where He wants us to be, if we'll let Him.